All right, follow us now. One graduated college with honors, was a member of the national championship speech and debate team, and currently carries a 4.0 as a grad student. The other is a refugee, father of three, from war-torn Afghanistan. Together, they are turning trying to turn a side hustle into full-time business of bow ties. Here's Brian Holmes with tonight's Idaho Life. Inside the Boise State University Venture College building in downtown Boise, a pop-up of production has taken over a back corner. Here, Hassamuddin Mumond is the tailor for bow tie hustle a company created by Steve Silva. You think so, huh? A Boise State business grad student who doesn't seem to believe in downtime. The classroom was great, I just wanted to challenge myself. And so I thought, why not just start something as far as an apparel company? About to go to the Bronco shop, I mean. He didn't do it alone. Alongside is David McKenzie and Brock Rice. All three with strong bonds to BSU, but each have an even stronger handle on hard work. It's a belief shared by Hassam. Growing up in Afghanistan, he worked part-time as a tailor for 10 years. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> but after spending time as a translator for the U.S. military, Hassam and his family found themselves in Boise in 2014. A couple of failed jobs, and Hassam decided he wanted to carve his own career and met Steve five months ago. Whoa. It was a connection of kismet. Yeah, if you please. Hassam needed clients, Steve needed a tailor. He's been a blessing, yeah, to be honest, yeah. And Assam is hoping for more. And right now I'm, I'm working to grow up my own business at the meantime and uh, work as hard as I can to stand on my own feet. Oh, I think that's what we we're going to do is we we're going to Steve do knows the, what it takes to stand on your own. The Princeton bow tie, because we got the Princeton necktie. The son of Portuguese immigrants, he worked on the family cattle ranch into his 30s. I didn't see my dad leave in the morning and go work for somebody else. I saw him get up and grind and work hard and build his own business. That's what the Bowtie Hustle Boys are doing now. Building partnerships with companies like Reveal Suits that gets them access to logos and gets their ties into stores. Like the Bronco shop. Hi. Hello. You ready? Yeah, I think so. Squeezed in with the sweatshirts and sunglasses. Steve didn't necessarily set out to be a bow tie salesman. This is uh, more falls in line with like a side hustle. Oh, I see what you're saying. A bow tie hustle, actually, because even a blue collar could sometimes use some more color. Yeah, looking good is something, but it takes a lot of hustle and hard work and grind to get to where you want to get to. Brian Holmes, Idaho's News Channel 7. Because of school and work, Steve says he's only able to devote about 20 hours a week to bow tie hustle. Hassan, meanwhile, sometimes works 18 hour days sewing and as an Uber driver with hopes of one day opening a bridal shop. Bow tie hustle also wants to give back. For every tie purchase, they'll donate a dollar to the Idaho Food Bank program. I want to say I am a client. I like I, it a lot. I say M I Z, you say Z O U. <laughs> M I Z. I didn't hear Z O U. Oh, I'm sorry, Z O U. Sorry, yeah. I didn't know you meant me. I thought you meant the people at home. Hey, yeah. that that uh, Boise State suit jacket. That's cool, was, isn't it? That was pretty cool. Yeah. So I, I have a feeling these guys are going to go a long way with their I'm business. Just saying, guys, I could use some tiger logos <laughs> inside here.